Hello guys, you're welcome to Computing YouTube channel. My name is Eugene, and in this video, we're gonna have a look at how we can set up a Microsoft Azure account, and then also have a look at how we can activate a free trial subscription. You need to have at least an email address, a phone number, or a Skype account. So I have an email address that I'm going to use to try. It's actually a corporate email address that I'm going to use for this particular game. But feel free to use any email address of your choice if you want to set up a Microsoft Azure account. And just because you set up an Azure account doesn't mean you're going to have the chance to use the free trial subscription that Microsoft provides on Azure. You have to actually go through some procedure and then activate the free trial account. So that is what I'm going to show you after we log into Microsoft Azure for the first time. So I'm going to use my corporate email here. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and sign in here by clicking next. And then I'll type my password. When I click sign in, the two-factor authentication mechanism enabled here. So I'm going to just approve the login. Okay. You click yes here to stay signed in. And we're going to have a look at the portal. This is what Microsoft referred to as the Azure portal. This is the web interface that is used to create resources on Microsoft's uh, Azure cloud computing platform. And when you get in here, you realize that if you're using just Azure for the first time, they're going to tell you to start a free trial account. Okay. And um, if you try to create any resource over here, aside this one over here, they're going to still prompt you that you need to activate your free trial account. And it becomes a limitation for most people when they want to try their hands on the resources and services that Microsoft provides on Azure. So I'm going to take you through how you can actually uh, activate this free trial account and then get this $200 credit to try using the resources that we have on Azure. Okay, so if you log in for the first time on Microsoft Azure with your email address, it creates something that we call uh, an Azure AD tenant. Okay, I'm going to do subsequent videos explaining uh, Microsoft Azure AD and how it works. Okay, but when you log in for the first time, it creates something that we call an Azure AD tenant account for you. It gives you a chance to use Microsoft Azure AD, okay, or Microsoft Azure Active Directory. Okay, so you can actually click on here, even if you have not activated your free trial account, you can get to use this particular service that we have on Azure, which is the Azure AD or Azure Active Directory. Okay, so you can actually come here and create user account. I create multiple user account. As you can see, I've created a lot of user accounts over here. That one you will not be restricted. But if you try to, let's say, create a virtual machine on Azure, when you click here, it tells you you need to get a free trial subscription. There are so many subscriptions that Microsoft provides for Microsoft Azure. Okay, and the very first one that most people want to try is the free trial account. Okay, so. There are so many resources over here and so many services that we can use on Azure. But before you can try your hands on them, you need to get your free trial subscription activated. So let's do that. Okay, I'm going to click on this one over here. Start with a free trial. Okay, it takes us to the page. It tells us to agree to the terms of service here. And this one has to do with receiving information about Microsoft Azure products and services. So if you don't want to get a, a whole bunch of emails regarding Microsoft Azure, you can clear this checkbox, you can still proceed with what you want to do. But if you want to get newsletters and stuff about Azure, you can just leave this one on. And periodically, Microsoft, when you are doing any maybe digital event or there's a new uh, feature that you introduce in Azure and you want to announce it, you're going to get that email, which is a good thing if you're a user. So I'm going to leave it on and click on next here. And then it's going to give me the chance to enter my Visa card details. Okay, uh, this platform supports MasterCard, Visa cards, and American Express cards. Okay, but for those of my guys who are in Africa, okay, I am doing this training video from Africa. Okay, so those of us who are in Africa, most of us still have this American Express card. Okay, so if you don't have that and you don't also have a MasterCard, you can get a chance to use the Visa card. And please, uh, some of us don't have much knowledge about these cards. And anybody who has limited knowledge about this class, I want to just explain um, that this Visa card that you see over here that Microsoft is saying they accept for this particular platform is not an ATM card. <laughs> okay, there are some banks that gives ATM card that you can use to withdraw cash from an ATM machine, but it's not actually a Visa debit card or a Visa credit card. This is a Visa debit card that you can use to do online transactions. Okay, so if let's say you have an ATM card, 
do not try to use it over here to activate this. It's not going to work. Okay. And Microsoft also doesn't accept prepaid Visa cards. If you have a MasterCard, it's fine. If you have, if you have an American Express card, it's fine. But if you want to use Visa, there are different, different types of Visa cards. Okay. And they don't accept Visa prepaid cards. So even if you have a Visa card that you use to do online transactions, to buy stuff from eBay and uh, what do you call it, Amazon and stuff, and you want to use it and it's a prepaid card, this platform is going to reject it. And you can actually go to any bank that provides Visa debit card services or Visa credit card services and you just talk to them, right? That you need a Visa card that you can use to do online transactions, but you want a Visa card that is linked to a bank account. Okay, you don't want a Visa prepaid card. Okay, I'm going to begin by typing the Visa card holder name and then the card number. Okay, I'm going to go ahead and enter expiry for the card. And then we have this CVV code that type. So when you turn the back of your Visa card, that is where you're going to see the CVV code. You're going to see some three numbers over there. Okay, that is a CVV code. So I'm going to enter it here and it will give you the chance to enter your address. Okay, so I'm going to enter here, Kraka. Okay, so as you can see, they are giving us an information over here that there's not going to be any automatic charges when we enter uh, this particular information over here. It's a free trial account, but it's telling us that if you want to continue after the free trial service, you can go for a pay as you go subscription and then pay for any service you use as a point user. Okay, so I'm going to go ahead and enter the city over here and then enter my postcode, which is optional. If you don't have a postcode, it's not mandatory, you can just leave it. And then you go ahead and click on sign up here. So it is in progress, just trying to confirm. Setting up my account. Yes, job done. Okay, so everything is okay now. My free trial subscription is activated for Microsoft Azure. Let's go back to the homepage and see. I'm gonna click on the homepage here. What is it saying? I'm going to refresh. As you can see, the user interface has changed. All those options that were there that were saying you should activate a free trial has disappeared. Everything is set. This is a procedure you're going to use to activate your free trial if you want to use Microsoft Azure. Thank you very much for joining me today. I hope to see you in the next video.